Hello, I'm Isidin Osman and today in this tutorial we are going to build this tall building okay uh, measured around 46,000 mm okay and in length okay and its height of the building is around 16,000 mm okay so we are going to try to build this building tool or the tool building okay uh, and we are going to base on this snapshot images which contain the measurements okay so these are the snapshot images which contain the measurements for this tall building okay so we are going to draw this okay based on this measurements okay and of course we are going to look at this pdf file over here as our reference okay so i'm going to start to draw from the left view of this building okay so i will define my units right now and i will define it as millimeters okay as for the limits as you can see just now in this PDF document, so this particular tall building is measured in length is 46,000 mm and its height is around 16,000 mm. So I'm going to take the limits around 40,000 mm. So my minimum point should be 0, 0, and my maximum point should be around. 40,000 mm or 40 meter. Okay. Um, for the first stage, right, I'm going to change my view to the left by clicking on this particular view button over here. So I'm going to go to my left view right now. Okay. So this is my left view. Alright. So you can see this is my left view right now. Okay, um, this is pointing to left view right now. So I'm going to see the first snapshot image which contains the measurement for this tall building. Okay, so you can see as for this particular part over here, this is actually 5000. Okay, and the length of this is 6000 and the angle is 60 degree over here. So I'm going to draw this first okay so the top part of the building okay so i'm going to draw that on my left view okay notice we are actually on the left view right now okay and i'm going to draw this right now so this part is 5000 so i'm going to type 5000 here okay and this part over here is actually 6000 mm in length but it, it has a specific angle dimensions as you can see in the snapshot screen image right here it is 6000 angle 60 so we are going to use the polar relative coordinate in order for us to draw that part so i'm going to type at 6000 angle 60 and press enter okay so you can actually uh, focus on the command window panel down at the bottom here so uh, you can actually see what's going on with the command so i'm going to mirror off this by typing mi enter i'm going to select this particular object press enter when the command is asking to specify the mirror line exists i'm just going to click here and here click and then after that to finalize everything i'm going to press enter on my keyboard so I'm just going to uh, just close this top part first. Okay. So I got this particular top part of the building. Okay. So I'm going to um, actually um, extrude that. Okay. Just to see how it goes. So you can see in this particular comment here, it is stating it is extruded as much as 44,000 mm or 44 meter. Okay, so I'm going to actually uh, extrude that, okay, using the press pull command. 
okay so I'm just going to change this the view okay maybe I can go to my uh, top view first okay and then my SE isometric so it's going to look something like that okay so I'm just going to make my XYZ exist or my UCS user coordinate system exists to be uh, in line with this plane over here so I'm going to type UCS enter okay and I'm going to set my origin here my X here and my Y will also be here so that it will be according to this particular object plane so I'm going to type press pull command so just type PRE SS and the command list is going to show the press pull command and you just going to hit enter hit enter and select this cross section over here so when the command is asking for an extrusion height you can just go ahead and key in the measurement over here which is 44,000 okay so I'm going to type uh, 44,000 so I'm going this way actually so I'm going to type 44,000 okay enter so it's going to be extruded as much as 44,000 and I'm going to press escape just to cancel out there so I got my first part already as the top part of the building okay So these are the measurements for that particular tool building so we are going to match this particular the whole project okay as stated in this PDF document okay so I got my first part already and um, I'm going to orbit this a little bit by holding on my shift key and hold on my mouse scroll button on, on my mouse right to just to slightly orbit this okay so I'm just going to select this and just right click properties and just color it with a different color okay so I got this already and I'm going to change back my view to left view right now okay so I've drawn this part already and then I'm going to draw the top part now which is this part okay this part all right this is actually 13,000 okay 13,000 over here okay so I'm going to draw that actually okay so I'm going to change my visual style to 2d wireframe and I'm going to draw that accordingly this one is 13,000 enter okay so its height over here is 500 so this one is 500 so I'm going to type 500 here and I'm just going to mirror off that okay as for the center line over here okay that will act as the factor of your arc alright so I'm going to draw this particular line factor over here as much as 1500 mm so I'm going to click line I'm going to click here okay this one is 1500 enter okay as for this one you can just mirror off okay enter click here and click here lastly you must press enter to finalize it to create an arc okay along this particular path over here you can use this particular button called the arc function or the arc button click the arc button click this point as your first point click this point as your second point and click this point as your third point okay so I'm just going to eliminate that line to delete off that line first alright and I'm going to um, actually extrude that okay you can see in this particular remark over here it is extruded as much as 46,000 mm okay so I'm going to extrude that actually so I'm going to change my view to top first to change my view to SE isometric so I'm going 
I'm going to get that particular view right now. Okay, so I want to set my UCS to be in line with this particular cross section. So I'm going to type UCS enter. So I'm going to click here as my origin, here is my X, and here is my Y. And I'm going to perform the press pull command. You can just type PRESS. Okay, and the command is going to be present on the list and just press enter, select inside the cross section. As for this particular extrusion, it's going to be 46,000 mm. So I'm going to type 46,000, enter, press escape. Okay, and as you can see, you have to mark this particular point here as your base point in order for you to move this particular roof. To this location so I'm going to click move right this is the move button or you can just type M enter okay select enter and the base point is going to be around here okay click and then I'm going to click here okay so I'm just going to delete off the this line okay Okay, if you can really see on your top view, this particular roof is not centered actually. So I'm going to move it around 1000 mm to the right. So you can just type M enter over here. Okay, select this enter, select this point as your base point. So I'm going, I'm going to move this as much as 1000 mm. So I'm going to type 1000 enter. So I got this part centered already. And then I'm going to change my view to SC isometric, see how it goes, okay. So uh, when I change my visual style to conceptual, I can really see in the shaded view. And I'm just going to move this roof part a, a little bit to the top, okay, a little bit to the top. So I'm going to orbit this, you can type 3DO to orbit, okay, a little bit. Or you can just press and hold your shift key. And uh, by holding your shift key and also press and hold your mouse scroll button on your mouse and you can actually move your mouse in order for you to 3D orbit this particular object. Okay. Okay. So if you can, if you want to have an alternative option, you can also type 3D O and it's going to orbit this particular object. Okay. So it's the same thing by using the shift key and the mouse scroll button on your mouse also can by pressing it simultaneously and moving your mouse. Okay, or you can just use the 3D orbit uh, command just now as stated. So I'm just going to move this roof a little bit to the top. Okay, I'm going to polar track this and then I'm going to type 500 enter. So it's going to be a little bit uh, shifted to the top. Okay. And it is centered as you can see in this particular view. So I'm going to change back to my left view right now. Okay, so this one is uh is too high, so I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to change my visual style to 2D wireframe and I'm going to create this particular part down here. Okay, you can also use a rectangle if you want or you can use uh, the normal line command also. It works also. Okay, um, this particular line is 5000 and this height is around 1000. Okay. So I'm just going to draw, you can, you can either draw it using a rectangle or a polyline. Okay, I'm just going to use a line, a normal line. Okay, click here, click here and click here and the height. Okay. It's 1000 and then I press enter. And then I'm going to object track this. Press escape. Okay, and then I'm going to change my view to top. I'm going to change my view to SC isometric. So it's located here. Okay, and uh, this is my cross section which I've drawn just now. 
so I'm going to change my UCS so that my UCS is in line with that particular cross section so easier for me to uh, press pull that okay so I'm going to press pull that by typing PRESS enter click directly on the cross section and for the length of extrusion height I'm just going to click here to end that extrusion height this is actually uh, 44,000 mm and press escape okay so you are going to get the bottom part of the building okay and for the roof part for the curved roof part right so I'm going to change my view to left view first okay and then I'm going to change my visual style to 2D wireframe in order for me to draw the arc for the for the roof for the curve part of the roof this one okay so I'm going to draw this reference line first you can see there is a reference line there it is measured as 8000 mm okay from this midpoint over here so I'm going to draw that first starting from the midpoint polar track and then I'm going to type the measurement as 8000 okay and there is actually another um, another reference line there okay and the height is actually 500 uh, sorry this is actually 1000 okay there's a reference line there the height of that re reference line is actually 1000 mm so I'm going to draw that I'm going to click line starting from this mid okay polar track this one is 1000 enter okay so I'm just following this uh, measurements given over here okay um, okay I'm going to draw the top part the top part first by using an arc this command arc or you can just type a enter is faster click this as your first point click this as your second and click this as your third okay and then you can just create another part over here this is actually 500 mm okay and then press enter and then you can just type a enter or you can just even click the arc command okay is the same thing okay so click here and click this point as a second point okay and then you click this point as your third point okay so I'm, I'm just going to delete all my reference line first okay and I'm going to change my view now to top to SC isometric and I can see the cross section cross section which I've drawn over here is located this in this location so I'm just going to change my UCS so that my UCS is really in line with that particular shape okay so now my XY plane or my work plane is actually in line with this cross section and then I perform my press pull command by typing PRESS press enter and then I just click inside this cross section area and just end the extrusion height until here okay so I press escape and I got that already change my visual style the conceptual I'm gonna select that change the color also um, if I base on this particular PDF is kind of grey so I'm going to change it to a grey color okay maybe this kind of grey okay so select this right click properties I'm just um, changing the color because I want to differentiate the object okay so after that you can also perform the window sorry the mirror command by typing mi enter select this particular curve to roof press enter and then you can just click this point right as your exists okay if this point doesn't come out okay you can really uh, find the midpoint of this particular part over here by really going to your left view you can really see that point clearly so I will mirror off this particular curved roof on my left view by typing MI enter press uh, select this particular curved roof press enter click this midpoint click this point 
also presented to mirror off the curved roof so I got my curved roof already okay so my goal is to draw this building as stated in this PDF document over here okay so this is our goal actually but of course we have to uh, really do the part and everything and the part of course has uh, measurements okay and we are going to do the V shape beams over here or the V shape pillars okay um, by going to your left view face I'm going to my left view face uh, of course we have to really really look on, on the measurement side of that V shape beams all right okay so we are going to take a look first on the measurements of the beams right so this is the given structure measurement dimension for the beams so from here to here the height of uh, this part over here is 8000 mm so you are going to draw that particular line first as your reference line so you're going to click here click here polar track this okay this one is actually 8000 enter okay that's your reference line and from here to here is actually 1005 so i'm going to draw that first okay uh based on this dimension over here so i'm just going to mark that also as uh, yellow color uh, so that easier for you to see it better okay so i'm going to mark that as yellow color okay and i'm going to draw this part also this is this part is actually um 4000 mm in length okay so i'm going to draw that part as well from here to here is 4000 okay so i'm going to select that and also change that to yellow color just to differentiate that okay and uh, this one is 1005 and um, from here to here is actually 1000 okay based on this so I'm going to click line and draw from here to here polar track I'm going to type 1000 enter and from there I can connect on this particular line over here okay and I'm going to draw another line click line or the best way is you can always type L enter click from here to here and just connect this okay so you got that already okay you got that this part already okay um let's take a look at the extrusion okay if you if i go to next uh, the extrusion um is around uh, 500 mm actually okay that's the extrusion of that particular beams okay so I'm going to extrude that, okay. I'm going to change my view to top view and I'm going to change my view to SE isometric. So you can see the beams are located there. Okay, and I just change my UCS type UCS enter so that my UCS is really in line with that particular cross section. And then I'll just 3D orbit a little bit so that I can see the beam better. And then I type press and the press pull command will be listed on the command list press enter and just click over here and the extrusion height you can type around 500 just to have a little bit thickness on that beam so you got it already okay you got this particular part already and of course you can change back your visual style to um, conceptual to see better Okay, to see better. So I'm going to change this color to um, the beams to blue color. Okay, so you can see inside this particular PDF document, it is in blue color. So I'm going to change it to blue color. Select this, right click. Okay, and I'm going to change my uh, view to left view right now. Okay, and I'm going to mirror all this by typing MI enter, select this beam, press enter, click this and this for my mirror line. Okay, and then I press enter. So I got it already 
you can even check on your SE isometric view whether it is located correctly or not okay so it is located correctly over here okay uh, we already done for the beams okay now we are going to do for the this part alright the stairs okay so take a look at, at the dimension first for the stairs okay uh, so this test is actually um, from here from the center line over here from here to is actually 6000 and it does have six steps for this particular stairs okay so we are going to draw from here to here is 6000 and from here going down is um, 200 so the rise of the step, step is 200 mm and the thread of the steps is 400 mm okay so you can see indicated here the rise of the of the step is actually 200 mm and the thread of the steps is 400 mm okay so we are going to draw that actually right now okay so i'm just going to change this to my left view right now okay and I'm really going to change it to 2D wireframe. And you can double check from here to here is actually 6000 mm. And then going down here is um, the rise is 200. Okay. So I'm going to draw that actually. So from here to here is 6000. So I'm going to type it. Okay, like this. And the rise is 200. Okay. And the thread is. 400 so you got to repeat these steps in order for you to get until six steps all together or six threads okay so the thread is 400 the rise is 200 the thread is 400 the rise is 200 so I'm just keep keep on repeating this until I achieve the six steps Okay, so uh, this one is actually, let me count it for a while. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, there's another one. So um, this is actually 200. The, the thread is actually 400. So that's the last step. Okay, and then I'll just take my mouse, put it over here. Okay, this one is 200. Okay, and then just object snap track over onto this. Okay, so this one is actually you can you can actually count this one, two, three, four, five, six all together. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can double check in the screenshot over here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you got six threads over there. Okay, and after that, right, you need to mirror off this. You can mirror off this. Okay, so I just type M I enter select the part that I want to mirror click here and here press enter so I got it already and you can see even in the dimension given over here um, okay you can see um, this extrusion right is actually 2000 mm okay that's the extrusion height of the stairs okay of the steps over there 2000 mm so I'm going to change my view to SE isometric this. Okay, um, and I'm going to really change my UCS so that my UCS is set according to the to the shape. Alright. And then I will perform the press pull command after I orbit this a little bit. Okay. And then I type PRESS enter. I just select inside this cross section over here. And then I'll type as uh, 2000 for the extrusion height, okay, of that particular steps. Okay, and uh, you can see in this dimension over here, right, uh, as stated over here, from here to here is actually 3400 mm. And you can use that particular length as a reference line for you to locate the steps really on the center of the V-shaped be beams. Alright, so I'm going to use that that, <clears throat> that measurement as my reference line. So from here to here, 
is actually 3400 mm okay so I'm going to use that dimension okay um, so I'm going to maybe turn it around like this this okay and maybe move this aside I'm going to move this aside this okay maybe here okay and then I'm going to delete off this lines which I did for my steps so or for my stairs over here and I'm going to draw that reference line first okay um 3400 mm so I'm going to draw that because if you really see that this line from here is actually from here to here is actually 3400 enter okay so I just mark that line first you can even select that right click go to properties and change the color to yellow color so that you are differentiating the reference line and you can move this and of course you can take this particular point as your base point over here so easier for you to move it now the steps are centered okay so it is really centered uh, with the beams okay you can um, really check this first Okay, I'm just going to undo that first. Okay, I'm going to undo it first. Okay, so I'm going to type M enter and I'm going to take um, this as my re uh, base point over here. Okay, and I'm going to locate it over here. Okay, as you can see, if I go to conceptual, I can see it is really centered. Okay, it is really centered over here. I'm going to delete all this reference line. Okay, and then if I were to go to my left view right now, I just want to bring it down a little bit. Okay, by going to my um, by going to my left view and wireframe visual style. Okay, so I'm going to move this the whole steps over here a little bit. Okay, from here to okay. Okay. So you can just see whether it's correct or not. Okay, and you can go back to your top view right now. Okay, go to your wireframe. Okay, really make sure it is centered. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to push these two elements over here. I'm going to push it inside a little bit. Okay, so that it is inside a little bit on the tool building. Okay, so I'm going to push it in this. So when I type M enter, I have to select this part over here, this part, and this part over here. Okay, press enter and I'm going to just move it a little bit like this. Okay, so you can check it first whether it's okay or not. Okay, in this SE isometric.
so I'm just going to delete all the reference line over here okay as my guideline so I'm going to delete that first I'm just going to mark that as grey color also so I'm going to hit properties and just mark it as grey color also so I got this part already okay Okay, now we are going to create the bottom part. You can see there is a bottom part indicated here. Okay, the bottom part, the foundation of the steps. We are going to create that actually. We are trying to create that part. And you can see there is also a snapshot capture of that. Okay, uh, as for this particular part over here. The curved foundation over here. Okay, so we are going to do that actually. Okay, so I just changed my visual style to 2D wireframe, right? And I'm, go I'm going to draw a line, all right, from here, uh, from here to here. Okay, so that, that's going to be my reference line over there. So I'm just going to mark it as yellow color, okay? And also I'm going to draw another line over on this section over here. So and uh, of course I'm also going to mark it as yellow color, okay? Just to differentiate it, okay? And I will definitely offset that, okay? I will offset it. Um as much as 500 mm so I'm going to offset it by typing O enter type 500 enter okay so let's say the distance of the offset is 500 so I'm going to offset that offset this over here okay and okay and I'm going to um join the yellow lines down here okay this line and this line okay and then the, uh, I'm going to mark this distance here okay From here to here, maybe around 1000 mm. Okay, and I'm going to draw an arc type A, enter, uh, C, enter. I can even use arc center, A, enter, C, enter. So this will be my center, this will be my start, and I'll just draw it like this. So I don't need this particular reference line anymore. Okay. So just delete off the reference line face and do the same thing here. Okay, so I just I just going to delete this reference line also. Okay, do the same thing here. I'm going to draw this and then I'll type A enter, C enter. So this is going to be my center of arc. Okay, so I'll just change my UCS so that my UCS is really in line on that particular shape over there. So I just change my UCS over here. Okay, and then I'll use my press pull command 
to actually uh, press pull that okay so I change back my UCS so that my UCS is in line with the ground of the foundation okay so my XY should be there and then I tap type my press pull from here okay let's say this is the and I'll just uh, extrude it to go down as much as negative 200 so I'll type negative 200 so it's going to go down press escape so I got that part already so if you can see in the PDF document it's also uh, marked as grey color so I'm just going to change that to uh, conceptual alright to conceptual Okay, as you can see, this part didn't go quite well, right? So what I'll do here is I'm going to delete that for a while. Okay. Because my cross-section slightly went off. Okay. So I'm going to delete that for a while. So it's better for you to identify the line on the wireframe um, visual style. So I got the, the line already. Okay, here. Okay, as indicated uh, by the yellow line. Okay, and then I just change my UCS, right? Okay, so that my UCS is really uh, on the stairs. Okay, and then I just type O enter, and then I type 500 enter, and offset it first like this. Okay, press escape. After that, I press escape, and then I turn it around like this. Okay, and then I draw this line over here. Okay, and then I type A enter, C enter. So this will be my center, this will be my start and end. So I got this foundation shape correct already. Just now it went off a little bit. Okay. So you really have to look on the line really closely. Okay. Because it's, it's 3D, definitely 3D. Um, if, you, if you attempt to design it in 3D, it's sometimes can be confusing. Like, uh sometimes it can be confusing okay um but i tell you what changing the view right that really does help okay uh if you type ucs enter right and i just i just change it really close to this uh so that it is in line with this foundation over here okay and then i type Press pull, type PRESS, enter, click somewhere inside this area over here. Click and I'll type as negative 200, enter, and it's going to go down. Press escape. Okay, and you, ha you really have to change to conceptual to really see whether it goes correctly or not and you can see it does go uh, correctly okay as stated here okay so I just going to change this select this color um, to a light green okay I'm going to change it to a light lighter green okay uh, maybe this kind of green okay okay uh, so I got this part already 
Okay, so uh, as stated in the PDF document, is some, something like that. Maybe I'll make this steps uh, part over here a little bit darker, just to differentiate that. Okay, so I'll make it really dark grey. Uh, so you can really see the colour difference, right, between those two. Okay, so the next step is you have to build this, this small building over here. Alright, uh, so this is the small building over here and you can also see the measurements. Okay, this is the measurements how we are going to place on that building and the height of the building is around um, 3000 and the, the length is 4000. The height is, is going to be around 3000 mm. Okay, so we are going to draw that actually. So you can see, I can really see change my view, right? Maybe to SE isometric, I will have this kind of view. If I go to NE isometric, I will have this kind of view. If I go to NW isometric, I will be in this view. And I will try to change my UCS so that it matches on the surface of my steps over here. So I'll type UCS enter. So I'll click this as my base point. Click this as my X axis. Click this as my Y axis. And I'll draw a line reference over here from here to here. Okay. So that's my reference line. Definitely you can uh, highlight this to yellow color just to differentiate that. Okay, so you can you can see the measurement over here. This one is actually uh, two thousand, okay, two thousand mm. So I'm going to offset that. So I'm going to type two O enter type two thousand enter. I'm going to click this. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click this, and I'm going to click to that particular location. Okay, and then I press escape. Okay, and then I press escape. Okay, so I'm going to try to draw this particular uh, building part. Alright, I'm going to draw that particular um, building part first. Okay, so definitely I can uh, use a rectangle to bound that particular uh, location for that building, small building over there. So I just use my rectangle over here just to retrace back that particular location over here and then I offset it inside as much as 200 type O enter type 200 and just offset it inside like this okay and press escape alright and then I will press pull that particular cross section and the height I'll make it 3000 press enter Okay, press escape. So I'll just make um, this particular part as green color. You can see this part and the steps are joined together. Okay, this part and the steps are joined together. So I'll just change uh, my view to left view right now. Okay, and I'll use my slice command. I'll type SL enter, select this, enter. So my slice plane should be from here to here. So I'm just trying to slice this part. Press enter. So I got this part. Right click. Properties and change this to green color. Just to differentiate that. Okay. And then I go to uh, my top view. Okay. I like to. I'm interested in my NW. NW isometric view. It gives me uh, a really clear view of um, my design. Okay. And I will... Uh, use a box over here alright so I'll type box type B O X enter just to close this part I'll use the normal box okay and until here so the height is going to be 200 press enter select this right click properties also change it to green color just to um, make it uniform so I got my top 
part of that building. So if I want to combine that, it is a union command type. UNI enter, select this, select the top part, press enter. So it is combined. You can see that. Okay, so I'm going to change it to NW isometric. So I want to uh, create the cutout or the uh, opening for the window and the door. Okay. So you must understand whenever you want to draw on any surface, your UCS must be in line. Okay, it must be according to that particular surface. So let's say if I want to draw the window part, so I just click here. I just change my UCS so that it matches uh, the building. Okay, so this is going to be my origin. This is going to be my X, and this is going to be my Y. So it's, it is in line already. Okay. So I will try to draw a rectangle. Okay, you can click rectangle. Okay, there, there is a shortcut for rectangle. You can type REC enter. Okay, you can draw it anywhere first. Okay, maybe here. Okay, and then you type D enter. Okay, so the measurement is actually the length is 3000. Okay, and the height is 1005. Okay, press enter. Okay, press enter again. Okay, uh, click. After that, you just it is a normal click. Okay, and I just draw like a reference line here. So click line. So from here going up is two thousand one hundred. Okay, press escape, and then I just move this rectangle from this base point and move it on top of this line. Okay. So you just need to create this line first. L enter. This one is just a reference line from here. I did choose here polar track 2100. Okay, so that's going to be my reference line. So when I did my rectangle, right, I just draw it anywhere I want first. And then I enter the dimension. Okay, don't worry about the location. You can actually uh, move it later. Okay, click, click on it, move it, click. Okay, and then move it, select this, press enter. So this is going to be my base point over here and put it on top of this line. So I got it already and I'm going to press pull that. So just type PRESS, enter, select this and just reach out until here so it's going to cut out um, you're going to have you're going to uh, have this cut out something like this so I'm going to I'm going to do the cut out for the uh, door okay for the door so I'm going to change my UCS first so I just like UCS enter so I just click here and then I click here and then I click here okay and then after that, I will, of course, I will draw a rectangle. Okay, I will draw it somewhere here. Okay, and then I type D, enter. And the length is going to be um, 900. And the width is going to be 2100. Is a standard width, a standard dimension for a door. Click. Okay, and then you can move it accordingly. Okay, you can move it accordingly after that. So when you create a rectangle, right click for your first point, D enter, type in the measurement, which is um, the measurement, the length is 900, enter, the width is uh, 2100, enter, and after that, just a normal click, alright, just a normal click to end that particular rectangle. Okay, and move it, and so move it accordingly. Okay, just move it accordingly. And of course, you can press pull that, type PRESS, enter, click this cross section, click until here to um, have the door cut out or the door opening. So it's going to look something like that. Okay, it's going to look something like that. And if you want to draw for its glasses on for its door, of course, you must change the UCS first. Okay, so I'm also going to do for its glasses and everything. So I'm going to change it. So I'm going to go to my 2D wireframe. Okay, so I just type UCS enter very quickly. I'm going to change this. Okay, and just 
draw the rectangle again okay from here to here okay and you're going to extrude that you can type ext enter to extrude that okay maybe around 20 just type 20 enter okay so if you go to conceptual you can see there is a piece there right click go to properties and you can uh, definitely change it to cyan like this okay you can do you can move it uh, a little bit inside okay you can move it a little bit inside okay uh, just type m enter and move this okay from here to the center part over here so i've moved it already okay so i got it already and if i want to make it transparent i can i can make it transparent okay by using this layer manager over here so i just need to create layer properties to create a new layer definitely and i will click this particular uh button over here to create my layer one and i'm just going to change my color to um cyan color and i'm going to change my transparency i'm going to click here and I'm going to set my transparency to 50. Okay, okay. So I have a transparency there. And I'm going to select that, right? I'm going to select that and I'm going to uh, transfer to my layer 1, which is set to be transparent. That's how you make a particular object to be transparent. Okay. So you can, of course, you can copy this glass, right? Okay, and... Uh, put it to this location so I, I can I will move this right okay I will copy this also I type CO enter I select enter and then I'll choose definitely choose this as my base point and I'll choose this also as my base point so from mid to mid and as you can see it is transparent okay it is transparent Okay, and you just need to do for the door part. Okay, you just need to do for the door part. Okay, and as for uh, this section over here, right? Uh, as you can see, there is also a bar over here. Uh, this particular bar over here. We are going to draw that actually. It's just a very simple bar with a stand. Okay, this is the bar and the stand. Okay, so we are going to draw that actually. After we draw the door first, we, we want to draw the door first. And after that, we are going to draw this part over here. Okay, so we are going to quickly draw for the door part over there. Okay, as you've learned um, previously, you want to draw something on there. You must change your UCS. Okay, quickly change it. Okay, so this will be my X, this will be my Y, and I will draw the rectangle REC enter and just until here. And you can also use the extrude command if you want. Select that particular uh, cross section type 20 as its thickness. Okay, and if you go to conceptual, we can see there is okay, there is actually a piece of uh, uh, box there and you just have to move it to the center part okay so that the door will be located on the center okay and you can just select uh, that particular door and quickly change it to uh, the layer to make it transparent okay make it transparent so you need to draw the door handle right so the door handle is actually a cylinder okay you can draw as a cylinder and you can change your UCS first okay you can change definitely change your UCS so that it is really on that particular location let's say here okay better change my visual style to 2D wireframe so that your AutoCAD moves better okay and then I change it like this um Okay, so that my 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 X will be here, my Y will be here. Okay, 
um, okay I just do it again UCS enter this is my origin right so my X I want it to become here and my Y I want it to become here so I got it like already so if I were to type cylinder C Y L I N L I N D E R so I choose cylinder and I will draw the cylinder uh, by eye judgment okay by eye judgment let's say that's going to be my cylinder to act as my door handle okay so maybe it should be higher so I'll make it higher definitely make it higher um, okay and I will position it definitely will position it so I can change my view to maybe back okay I choose back okay so I got this back view already and I will change it to wireframe and really position the door handle so that the door handle it is on a relevant position okay let's see here so I'm still going to change the top view to really see the door handle is located very near to the glass door let's say I put it over here so this is my glass door okay so I got it already so if I change back to my NW isometric and then if I go to uh, conceptual I can you can really see so it's it's there already okay so I just need to do for the bar for the bar uh, as indicated in this PDF document over here okay so I'm going to do that actually uh, really I'm going to really see and match with this PDF document okay uh, but we'll just do it do this uh, as an eye judgment okay as an eye judgment and I really want to put a box here so that that is why I have to type UCS enter okay um, can't see it clearly so I change it to conceptual so I type UCS enter so this is going to be my origin, this is going to be my X, this is going to be my Y. So you can really see my X and Y is really on that surface, or on that plane. So when I draw a box, that box will really be there. Okay? Will really be in that location. Okay, so I'll just uh, draw this by eye judgment. Okay? You see, I'm still here. Okay, so I can maybe increase this a little bit just to make it higher. Okay, so I got that part already. So I want to draw a cylinder right directly on this surface. So I have to change my UCS actually. Okay, I have to change my UCS. So I change my UCS. Okay, I press enter and then I'll take my mouse, put it here and put it here. Okay, and my UCS, my X and Y or my work plane is actually in line with that particular surface. And then I will type cylinder C Y L I N. Okay, and choose your cylinder, choose that. And I can directly draw by estimation on that particular surface. Okay. If it doesn't, if it doesn't really go there, you can definitely use wireframe, okay, and type C Y L I N, or you can even choose the button over here, cylinder, okay, and you can just try to draw by estimation, okay, until here, and I'll just change this. Highlight this right click properties. So I'll make the height around 3000. Okay, so you can see um, the color of that particular bar is blue, dark blue. So I'm going to right click, choose dark blue. Okay, and the color of the, the pillar for the bar is 
uh, actually I just make it we just make it that color because we just want to differentiate okay you just want to differentiate with red color okay so if I got it I got that particular first part already okay now I'm going to copy it okay I'm going to copy it okay uh, but of course I'm going to choose my wireframe and I'm going to reset my UCS or my XYZ by going to top view again and by going to SE isometric or NW isometric so I'll be resetting my UCS you can see my XY plane is on that directly down at the bottom and I'm going to copy that like CON term just copying it okay by estimation okay, let's see put here you have to really select on all of the elements which you need to copy like CO enter so I'll just select this bottom part over here along with the building and with the glasses okay don't forget press enter okay and click here alright so I just try to move this try to copy this by estimation Okay, so if I were to change back this to conceptual and you can really see okay so I've done my building tool okay by copying one element and copying it to the onto the other location that's how you do for any 3d basic design that's how you uh, the technique that you have, you should should use basically you need to really understand about UCS command and how to manipulate UCS command to actually uh, interchange your XYZ direction thank you very much